G'day folks and welcome to our tutorial on creating stencils with Illustrator. Now Illustrator is a really powerful bit of gear um, and hopefully these tips and tricks will help you make the most of it. Um, during the process we're actually going to create this stencil and you can see in this stencil that it is, it ha it is a vector first of all as I go over you see all the bits individually done and you'll see that it's got three layers. So it started with a white layer and then a black on top of that and then a red. So we'll show you how to do this and also we'll show you how to make it into a laser cuttable file so you can cut it. And the end results of these uh, of this process will look like this where you'll see the laser cuttable uh, laser cut um, stencils that I use for the screen print and then the actual bag with it screen printed on. Pretty fun. So to do this, what we do is we go File, New, and now selecting the actual size you're going to make your print is really uh, helpful, and let's name it, and one other thing is just make sure RGB uh, colour is selected if you're going to be laser cutting, and hit Create. Now the process is that we're going to put our um, image on here and then we're going to adjust it. So first of all we place the image, so that's File, Place. I've pre-created this image ready to go, I drop it in and I resize it. So to resize it click on this arrow, alright, and we want to, I'm just holding down Shift so it stays all in proportion and I move it to be the size I want. So at the moment it's still a bitmap image which means all pixels. We want to change it to a vector image so we can laser cut it um, and it's clear and concise. So to do that you go to, with it selected, you go to object and all the way down the bottom here near the bottom is image trace make. It's just off your screen at the moment but image trace make and my default is it just does black and white like that but when I go to the properties panel you'll see that I can change the default, the preset, to make it a three color stencil instead. And I want to do a bit more fine tuning on this. So this little button here opens the image trace panel. Yours might be collapsed, so you might have to hit advanced to open it up. All right, and I normally fiddle with these. This image is good enough at the moment. I don't need to fiddle with these, but I normally bring these right down low or less with uh, photos. And the noise is an interesting one. See there's a couple little bits here for instance and there's a bit too much detail for a stencil in places. So by pushing the noise up, I'm going to go to about 40, you should see these disappear which make it easier for our cutting. Okay. And the last thing I do is click simplify because what that does is it just makes your vectors easier to work with. I've done all that so I can close the image trace panel now but what I'm wanting to do again in the properties panel is I just want to hit expand to make it do its work. Boom, done. All right, now the really cool thing about this is that it is now complete layers, okay? So as we um, click on bits, you see this complete layers here. This white outside background I don't want, so I'm just going to delete it. All right, and you see every other bit is actually an individual layer now. So we're at the stage now of creating uh, three folders, or three colours. So to do that, I'm going to create three layers. So down the bottom here, I'm going to go plus. I'm going to call the first one black. I will change this dark blue at the moment, but I'm going to change it to black. Uh, and I'm going to go, uh, there's a red, and there's a white. Now in this one, I'm actually going to make the white background, the whole thing white, the whole outline and then I'm going to paint the black over the top and then the red. So I'm just going to move white underneath the others. Now before I do anything, I'm going to duplicate this layer. I'll call it Astro first, and I'm going to duplicate it so that if I make any mistakes, I can go back to it easy enough. So to duplicate it, just drag it down onto the plus, and you've got a copy of it now. And I'm just going to turn that off, and I'm going to lock it and put it at the very, I'll just leave it at the very top actually. Actually, at the very bottom. All right, so it's just sitting there, um, and I'll use that again in a moment, you'll see. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to move all the black bits into the black folder. So to do that, click on the one of the bits of black, 
and up the top you can see there's select. Go select, same, fill color. And it'll select all the bits that are that color. Now you can, um, in the layers panel, you can go and select all these bits that it's done and drag them into black. And that's usually the way I do it and the best way of doing it. Or you can cut, just hold down command because they're separate from each other. Command click. Uh, all the ones that have got a blue beside them. Um, I prefer this way because I don't have to move it and I know it's exactly in the right place. But you can cut and paste and then move it as well. I'm going to drag these into black. And now what I've got is it's looking the same at the moment, but I can turn all the black off in one go now, which is pretty cool. I want to do the same thing with red. So this time let's do the other way. So I'm going to click on one bit of red. Okay. Um, and I'll just make sure I've got the red selected there. All right. And I'm going to... Oh, okay. I've got some red selected. I'm going to go to select, same fill color everything red is selected this time I'm going to go cut and I'm going to go to the red and I'm going to paste all right but you see it's out of whack uh, and remember I said turning that layer on this helps with layering it perfectly turn that back on and let's slide this in to make sure we get it exactly in the right spot zoom right in okay and it is Okay, all right, tiny bit down. You can see why I like the other method, okay? All right, so um, there I've got red into place. I'm just gonna move it one pixel to the right. No, it doesn't do it. Okay, um, and I've got my red layers now done. So you can see now I've got black and I've got red, all right? Um, so I've separated into two of the colors. I've still got the white there. So um, let's do the difference with the white is I'm going to have this whole outline being white. Okay, so everything that's there is going to be white. Uh, and it's going to be at the very background. So to do that, I'm actually going to do another copy of this um, layer. Okay, um, and I'm going to combine that whole layer into one. So let's turn everything else off. To combine this whole layer, let's turn it on. Um, I'm wanting to go... Um, I'm going to select everything on that layer. Let's lock everything else so I'm not accidentally selecting other things. All right. I'm going to select everything here. Good. And I'm going to join it all together. Now, to do that, I'm using Pathfinder. You might have to open it up in your window. And I'm going to merge them all. Okay. Um, now, that should... Make sure you unite it all, okay? So uniting it all into one big layer. And I want that layer now so to be uh, a white fill. So I'm going to click on white. All right, uh, everything on full, great. All right, so I've now got a white layer as well as the complete background. I'll spray that first, then I'll spray the two colors on top of it. So looking back at my layers, let's turn it all back on now. Um, this has become my white um, layer now. So let's rename that white, and I can delete that white layer. Okay, all right. Um, so now I've got my three colors, all right, um, and I just need a little bit of fine tuning now as a stencil. And the fine tuning is looking for islands. So islands, let's just look at just the black alone. Okay, so I've got everything else turned off. Let's just look at the black layer. Now you see an island is a, an area that's isolated uh, by the color you're in. So here I'm doing black and you can see there's some bits here that are white that are isolated from the outside, which means that when you cut it, they'll just drop out. So I need to make some islands across to those, all right? And to do that, uh, there's a few spots, say this an example here, some I just delete. So for instance, this little bit of detail, it's too hard to cover, so I'm just going to turn that, uh, I'm just going to turn that off. So click on it, all right, and just delete, delete. Um, here, this one as well, delete, delete. Uh, these ones I'll just join together. So to join together, you highlight it all. Okay, this one looks a little bit, I'm going to do on fast forward. Um, 
because it'll take a little while. It does take a while to prepare your stencil sometimes. I'm going to fast forward it, but basically I'm just getting rid of all the islands. So in this bit, you probably see that I'm using a few tools. I'm mainly using the direct selection tool and the eraser, uh, and that's just to put bridges where I need to across to, um, to any islands. Islands are the isolated bits by themselves. Uh, the other thing I'm doing sometimes is using direct selection tool to just delete a whole bit. So where you'll actually um, click on, just select the one bit and hit delete, and that works quite well as well. Essentially you're trying to take all the, um, the bits that are too fine out of it as well because they just make, your, uh, make things yeah, a bit too fiddly. So selecting bits, deleting bits and getting rid of your real fine material. You sometimes sort of flick between the layers just to see what's going on. Right, those little bits that I had there, I'd added on so that I could um, delete the white. So I've just taken them back off now. And you know, I could have spent longer on this, but um, I was pretty happy with how it came out. Okay, now you can see that I've got the black, it's taken me about 10 minutes, okay, but I've take, got most of the islands out of the black and it's looking okay. Let's just have a look at the red now. So on the red layer, it's all looking all right. There's no areas where there's white inside of the red, so an island. Um, there's just this one little bit down here, I just, I'll just erase that little bit there because it's a bit small. Okay, so I've got all that done. We've got our three layers. I'm actually pretty happy with that. All right, so what I'm gonna do uh, is I'm now going to make a copy of those so I can vector, have them ready to cut as a vector. So to do that, I'm gonna go all three layers. Um, I'm actually gonna make a folder for these. All right, I'm gonna call it the um, color version. All right, and I'm just gonna pull all the three um, into, into that into colour, all right, now and in the order that I'm going to do it, so white followed by uh, black followed by red, great. And I'm now going to duplicate that one and I'm wanting to um, I'll lock that, so it's done, and this is going to be my vector copy now. So to make it a vector copy, I've got um, everything selected here, everything else is locked, I'm going to collect it all, oh, select it all, so I'm going to go to um, Selection Tool, I'm going to highlight it all, and in the properties, I want to make, for the laser cutter, we need to have no fill, so no fill, and we need to have the stroke to be red, so RGB red, so that means red up full, green down, blue down, zero, all right, and we need it to be 0 0.01 points, so 0 0.01 naught one points all right and make sure opacity is 100 percent and it's all ready for laser now i've got three layers all right the three layers is a red laser copy so when i want to cut red i just turn the other two off and i've got my red one ready to cut all right when i want to do black i do black and when i want to do white i do white okay and the big white one's going to be the cover of the whole lot all right um, okay, I hope you found that useful. Um, just um, pause bits, go over them again if you want, but have fun, give it a try.